this in the future. And have to say, may God bless you. May God bless you. Okay. And how do you do the sign of the cross? Do that to the camera. May Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sure. Uh, this is our kitchen area. We've got um, Kitchen Culture who are making What a fantastic day though. Yeah. yeah really. Braybrook Big Backyard. It's, I think it's uh, one of the, the events that really shows how Braybrook has very much come of age. It's got a whole lot of community expectations that uh, really council has to respond to. It's a wonderful thing and we want to see as many people engaged in as many community activities as possible. Long live Braybrook. Yeah. No, no worries. Well, I'm a refugee access worker from Western Region Health Centre in at 72 Paisley Street. So we are promoting our services plus um, we are promoting what's happening, what's on at Western Region and also Beyond Blue. Very good. <laughs> Um, I'm from U Services um, and the Learner Driver, Wheels in the West Learner Driver Program. So we're recruiting volunteers for our Learner Driver Program. Okay. These cheesy mites are awesome. I'm part of Melbourne City Mission. We run a project called Kitchen Culture. And all these young people, minus Matilda, who's not that young. Fantastic, <laughs> fantastic chef here. We run a program here in Braybrook called Kitchen Culture. These young people who run the program. And you're a qualified chef, I think. Mm, well, used to be. Used to be. Yeah, it's my previous life. And there I am. Pass on my knowledge to the next generation. I'm founder of the Till Library. And um, I've been working at it now for 17 years. Well done. I'm teaching woodwork. Could you give us a look at some of the stuff that you've made? Yes, come, come through. All right. Um, so yes, hopefully they will still be able to do it. Yes, it's a, a, a raffle barrel. Yeah. Fantastic. It's not one yeah, nail in it. If we can, sir, we'll give them a call. Oh, okay, so it's all glued. All glued together. It's all going well. Yeah, glued is That's as strong as any. All of those are all glued together. Yeah, 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 glued and uh, they'll be given away to the local community. I was going to say, you don't sell them, do you? Yeah. You probably make them. Well, youth culture that was based in the 70s and is totally unique um, to Melbourne. Um, all the fashion and the music is all local and all stylized in Melbourne. So it's something that um, a lot of people of Melbourne don't really know of in this today's generation. So I've occupied a lot of the, the things that came with that era. and. Um, and bring it forward to people to see that there was uh, an original youth culture here in Melbourne in the 70s. We all love it. Okay, yeah, yeah, so I grew up, yeah, yeah, I grew up in it. Okay. Uh, definitely. So, and what was unique about it was the kids in those days would, um, would stylise their own cardigans. Um, they would put their, their colours and combinations together and have them tailor made, such as the shoes also. They were all tailor made shoes. So they would combine also the different colours and designs. Um, most popular were the chisels, which were Venus shoes, and the cropless, which were the round sort of platform type. Again, that was part of the youth culture that um, kids were into, um, and, and they did that from their own heads. Uh, a lot of it was all um, uh, done in Melbourne, so it was totally unique to Melbourne. It wasn't really in other states, so it was all original to Melbourne and all the suburbs. What are doing? It's all 100% natural. It's made from henna leaves. Basically, the preparation goes about um, by drying the leaves and then we powder it and make it into a paste, fill it up in the comb with uh, a few drops of eucalyptus oil in it. And, uh, yeah, then we do all these designs. These are um, smaller designs um, for an activity like today, whereas these are more for weddings. Traditionally, we mark this, um, these ones, they're more for wedding stuff. 
and um, basically on any festivities and festival days we celebrate it with uh, drawing henna on our hands and feet to bring in more color to this how long does it stay on? It stays from anywhere between a month to two months. But slowly it fades off. Yeah. Yeah. The more we expose our hands to water, the quicker it fades off. It's all in that That's the one I'm doing, that design there. Yes. That's all hand-drawn ones? It's all hand-drawn ones, you know, okay. designs, and then uh, she's like drawing it onto her hand.